Welcome to the 123 Messaging Infrastructure Presentation. 123 Synchronizers uses what is called the Messaging Application Program Interface, otherwise known as MAPI, to communicate with the world. MAPI on its own will communicate with a local PST file, which is the Outlook representation of the data file that it uses. MAPI will communicate with the Exchange server. So you can install MAPI on the Exchange server and if you put a product on the Exchange server it will communicate with all the folders on the Exchange server. MAPI will communicate with the Exchange server across a network. So if you have a remote uh, folders that you have uh, the, that you use, MAPI will communicate with those. And MAPI is also the interface to, for us to access the data on the cloud and basically accessing Exchange data on the cloud. Now, if we encounter Outlook, we set up to communicate directly with Outlook and then have Outlook communicate with MAPI. That is a way of us um, reducing the duplication of MAPI calls within the system. Now on a server exchange you have to have MAPI installed and configured. On most Exchange 2003 inst installations MAPI is already installed but ex Exchange 2007 you must download MAPI from the Microsoft website. So go to Mac if Microsoft.com and search for MAPI download. We recommend that you only use one user profile to use all Exchange mailboxes. That it makes it manageable, it makes it easier for the our soft as well for you for your management of the MAPI profiles and the MAPI, MAPI mailboxes. To run sync as a service on an exchange server, just pro provided with a minus B and a minus S parameters uh, on a command line or through a batch file through the Windows scheduler, and it will run as a service. Also, if you're going to run it on an exchange server, you need to have ACT installed on the exchange server. Now, for Outlook client installs, you, ha you need to have ACT and Outlook installed on the same machine. So you have to be able to access one, the PST or the remote exchange folder, and you need to be able to access the ACT database. We support uh, local PST files, exchange, and public folders are all supported. Why? Because we use MAPI, and MAPI supports that. We recommend in Outlook as well to use one profile to exchange all to access all the exchange mailboxes. That that makes it easier for for management and uh, for overhead as well. And uh, if you're gonna put it on Outlook on a client, we recommend that you disable the Act integration with Outlook. We've seen Act adding additional items into Outlook, which will create a, a duplication in, in Outlook. And as well as on the Exchange server, you can run 123 sync in the background or as a tax in the Windows scheduler. Now, if you want to install it on Exchange and you don't know whether MAP is there or not, there's a very easy to do to test it uh, through our software. Just install it and click on the Outlook Contacts folder icon on our software and we'll start MAPI. If MAPI fails, we'll provide you with an error. So it's a very quick and easy and I'll show you right now. The best way to test whether MAPI is functional and existent on your Exchange server or whether MAPI is functional within Outlook is by simply clicking the folder icon and then see if you get a listing of the exchange and the personal folders to be selected. If you don't get a listing, that means that MAPI or Outlook is non-operational and we don't have access to that data. But if, it's, if it comes up, you can find the user that you want to match to and just select that and, and that will select that contact folder in Outlook slash Exchange 
to the appropriate user in ACT. Another item to consider is also the Outlook profiles. In the Outlook profiles, we here we list all the profiles that are available for in, in your machine or in your system, whether it be a server or whether it be a client. And these are the profiles that you either set up or the profiles that are available uh, through other installations. So we can actually select which profile we want to open when we access out the MAPI interface or access Outlook. So if you look here, we have Outlook and by default and Outlook 2 be uh, something that we set up here. So by default, uh, the profile, if you're using Outlook as the interface, is always Outlook. And it's something that is provided to us from Outlook.